Welcome to a special edition of the Mexican Soccer Show. I'm Weasel from FootMexSource.com and with me, a special guest, Tom Marshall, to talk about one subject, one subject only, the news for today that's going around the world. Guillermo Choa finally has a club. Tom, how are you? Very good, we so yeah, I'm excited by the, the news, another another Mexican player in, in La Liga. Right, finally, we've been looking for it uh, after the World Cup. Who's going to leave? So many choices, so many people, and finally, Memo Choa has taken the punch to go into La Liga, but let's talk about that now in this special edition of the Mexican Soccer Show. The Mexican stop, stopper and free agent Guillermo Choa took his time finding the new club in the summer of 2014, officially signing for Spanish side Malaga on Friday. Ochoa became the hottest free agent on the market thanks to a sensational performance of the 2014 World Cup. After he spent the last few seasons playing for French Minos Ajaxio, it came as no surprise that he held out for a club on much bigger stature. Let's just talk about initial thoughts. Tom, give it to me. I think it's a good move. I think the Mexico fans out there have been reading online and on Twitter. I think they're going to be slightly disappointed. Malaga is in no way a, a Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. You know, Manchester United, Bayern Munich, and I think some people, some Mexico fans, had th this vision that you know Guillermo Ochoa did very well in the World Cup, and then all of a sudden he was just going to jump to this massive club. That's not happened. He's at a mid-table La Liga club. You could argue La Liga is the best league in the world, and I think what this move gives Ochoa is the the chance to prove those remaining doubters out there that he can perform at the very highest level and hopefully move on to a, a bigger club in a year or two and I think that's how we have to look at this move as a, another stepping stone in the career of Memo Choi. I definitely see that now I mean you said it, it's a stepping stone how many more stepping stones does Ochoa need to have leaving America going to a club in Europe and with the performance that he had in the World Cup I would think and many fans as you said at Mexican fans would think that he would be at a bigger club by now so it is I think for me it's a, it's a stepping stone again but yet I'm a little disappointed that it is Malaga, as we've we discussed it before. But if this is the best option, then we have to go with the best option. It's either this, stay in a jack show, maybe another team lower than a jack show. I have no idea. But going to uh, Spain with a mid-table club, in my opinion, a club that isn't going to get any Europa League, isn't going to get a Champions League, isn't really going to get any of that action that we're all looking for, except for the two big clubs that will be there and maybe, obviously, the other three or four clubs that are around in, in La Liga. I just don't see it that great of news, but it's sad that it's the best news. How do you think he'll yeah. do, Tom? I, I think, he'll, I think uh, Ochoa is in a great place, full of confidence after the, after the World Cup, and I think that um, he's in a team where he, he can shine. I mean, he's going to be playing against some of the world's best players, Cristiano Ronaldo, Luis Suarez, Lionel Messi, uh, week in, week out, he's going to come get up against top, top teams. I think that you only had to watch his press conference on Friday and announcing him. And you just look at him and he sits there and he's very confident and he's, he's very mature and he knows what he's doing and, and he says the right things. He's a, he's a model professional now and I think for that reason um, he's going to do very well at Malaga. And I think the big example is uh, Willy Caballero, who has just left Malaga to go to Manchester City. He's got big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. There is some pressure on. Let's, I mean, let, let, let's not make any mistake about it. The pressure at Malaga is 10, 20 times uh, than, it, than it was in Ajaxio. Ajaxio is a minnow. I mean, there's no... I know it was a good movie. He, he, he went out there. He, he, you know, he took a bold move there. But this is a, a much bigger club than Ajaxio in, 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 a, in a much bigger league. So everyone is going to be watching. No, I think there, were, there are doubters out there, we saw. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think... We talked about why isn't he at one of the bigger clubs. I think there's a reason for that. I think the fact that he is going to Malaga proves that those bigger clubs, you look at Arsenal, who've just signed David Ospina from, from Nice. You know, you look at, you know, Kila Navas, who it looks like he's going to go to Real Madrid. The guy from Costa Rica, fellow CONCACAF nation. So I think that there so are why aren't they out taking there. it? Why aren't they taking the, that? Uh, the, I mean, is it a gamble for them to not take Ochoa? Have you seen what he's done? Or is it because he doesn't have that passport? He's not a Euro player like everyone sees that, that, that Pasaporte Comunitario. I mean, is that what limits a great keeper to go to a great club? Or it's just understandable why no one's taking it. Or maybe it's something internal, representative, money, Mexican value, the player of them have are a lot more. Will they settle for less? It, it, we don't know that side of it. So I think that's why I think Mexican fans are a little disappointed 
But I guess, yeah. well, it's better than a dark show, right? Yeah, but I mean, you know, I, I think it's more on the field. I think there's still doubts about him coming off his line and, and that decision-making. Nobody in the world doubts that he can make sensational stops. And as a shot stopper, he must be up saves. there. 146 saves, which is a record for a, a, a keeper in a jack show, which was an amazing a record that he had there in, in last seasons. So I, the, the doubters are still there. And it could be because we're fans and we could be because we've seen him. But has the world, uh, Brazil wasn't enough to impress the big fans that's all co- the, and the big teams. That's what it comes down to it. Yeah, I mean, like I said at the start, now he's at this club in, in, in this league where he can absolutely prove himself. And he has to be looking to follow Navas and uh, Caballero um, and using this as a stepping stone to a, a very big club. Ochoa throughout his career has said he wants to play in Champions League, he wants to play in Europa League. You look at the Malaga squad this year, it doesn't look like they're going to do it, you know. And I think Ochoa in his mind as well knows very well. And it'd be, it'd be fascinating to see the contract because I, I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't quite a low buyout clause that allows for Ochoa to make a move if somebody comes in and pays, you know, 7 million euros. You know what I mean? That, that would be absolutely fascinating. I think, I think this is the next step in his career. I think it's a positive and, and he, he now has to prove himself. I mean, the pressure is on. Memo Ochoa to prove he can do it in, in what is arguably the world's best league. Definitely. So we'll still see. It looks like it's a three-year contract. There could be a bio class right there for Guillermo Ochoa to go to a bigger club. He's 29, 28 right now. 29. Three years to get him into t- 32 years old. At 32, I would think that Memo Ochoa would have already been a veteran at a team, I think, a larger team, and what his trajectory of his career have been. But you know what? It's not something. It's not a stepping stone backwards. It's definitely going forward. It's something good for the for Mexico. It's something good for the player, and obviously good for the fans. Which ultimately we've been seeing the talents that he's had. We're all happy, a little disappointed with where he's at, but I'm sure he's going to do wonders. He's got now, like you said, those big players that are going to be there. Hopefully he stops. Hopefully he shows Carlos Vela what's up. You're not going to do a little <laughs> chip by me. <laughs> Yeah, right. I think that's the other thing as well. I mean, you look at La Liga next season from a Mexico fan point of view, and it's like, it's going to be a, a lot of fun. I mean, you know, you just mentioned Vela, you got Giovanni Dos Santos, who you expect to improve this season. Jonathan Dos Santos, I mean, who knows how good he's going to be. Exactly. Could be a disaster. He could be the, the future of the Mexico midfield. You know, obviously Ochoa's in there, such a high-profile name. Hector Moreno when he gets back fit. Javier Aquino. Um, I'm sure I'm missing people out here. Um who else is out there? I think that's good, unless Guardado goes back. Guardado, uh, yeah. Oh. It's called. But, well, we'll see where, it's, where he's at. Definitely big news for today. We've seen it. We've been mentioning it, that he was going to go to either a mid-level Spanish team. We looked at Getafe of being a possibility, and now it's finally confirmed at Malaga joining today in the presentation. All right, well, this has been any last thoughts, Tom, on, uh, on Ochoa and uh, what he's going to be doing. I'd give it six and a half out of ten. The move. I mean, I think it's uh, it's solid, but not very spectacular. Being the starter of uh, top level Manchester Real Madrid, Real Madrid <laughs> which yeah. who knows if Keylor Navas is going to play? That's another thing, right? Who knows? And Caballero, he, and, and Cab- Caballero at Manchester City. Ospina, He's got Joe Hart, England's number one. Ospina at Arsenal. I mean, these great keepers. For example, Keylor Navas was was uh, rumored right away to go to Bayern Munich, and we know Neuer is there. He's twenty eight. He's not going to go anywhere. So. You know, it's better for him to get his, 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 his playing time now, but I don't know. Thank you so much, Tom, for being on the special Mexican soccer show. We'll see where he goes. We'll follow his, obviously, his career now at La Liga, and it's going to be very exciting to see him during the weekends stopping everyone else's shots like the way we saw him in Brazil. Thank you so much, Tom. I'm Weasel from FoodMexSource.com. This has been a special edition of the Mexican soccer show. See you later. <laughs>